Hi guys, I'm Dan Hoff, Chief Operating Officer of Honey Stick, and today we're going to give you guys from popular demand a little tutorial on 510 thread stick vape batteries. Now we've been getting a lot of questions on what the differences are between different types of stick batteries. So this quick video is going to give you guys a nice little tutorial about what the key differences are between stick batteries, and a lot of these we actually do sell. So the first question is, what is 510 thread? 510 thread is the actual thread adapter that is used by a majority of vape cartridges. These are cartridges that are pre-filled with CBD or different medical oils that you can pick up at your dispensary. And what companies will do is they will pre-fill these so that you buy just the cartridge and then you go and purchase and attach it to your own battery in order for you to be able to vape. So 99% of the cartridges sold in dispensaries and CBD shops use what is called a 510 thread, which is actually just the threading of the cartridge. Now, not only do pre-filled cartridges use this, but a lot of just vape products like even slim wax adapters like our silencer, they also use a 510 thread so that they can appeal for the dabbing crowd. So once you've figured out what you want to vape, then it comes down to picking your battery and what the differences are between your batteries. And what I've done is I've narrowed them down to four main types of batteries. The first one, and one of our most popular ones, is the twist style battery. So it has a 510 thread, which will allow you to screw in the cartridge like for example our performance cartridge to screw that into the battery so it has a 510 thread adapter there or an end right there it has a push button which means that you have to push and hold the button throughout your inhale and because it's a twist battery it has a little twist knob here that allows you to adjust the intensity of your vape and this one goes between 2 volts and 4 volts, 4 volts being higher, giving you greater intensity. Now, how do you turn this battery on? Once you have your vape cartridge attached, you simply push this button five times to turn it on. One, two, three, four, five. And you see it's going to flash. And that means that you are ready to vape once your cartridge is on there. Now, most of these twist batteries, ours included, does have a preheat function on it for when you're using a cartridge for the first time or there's thick materials in there that need to be preheated before you can vape. And that's achieved by pushing the button when it's on twice in succession. So you push it twice rapidly. One, two, and you see the LED is changing colors there. That means it is going through a low voltage preheat to get your cartridge ready to vape. And at any time during the preheat, you can push the button to exit. So that is our twist battery. It is very simple to use, not a lot of clicking, adjustable power there, nice 510 battery. These are a high capacity and they come in several colors. I brought along the multicolor and the red and we actually even just launched a brand new carbon fiber version which it uses real carbon fiber. So there's a real carbon fiber version right here. The other battery is a 510 variable voltage, non-twist battery. So you have your 510 adapter here that you can screw your cartridges into or vape products that you buy, like for example, your pre-filled cartridge. Show you guys what a pre-filled one looks like. So here's a pre little pre-filled cartridge. Simply screw it on in there. This one is a variable voltage, but it's a non-twist. This is actually a pass-through, as you can see, a pass-through meaning that the charging port is here at the bottom. So you can actually, if you're vaping and it's running down or you're one of those people who works at your desk, or in your car, you can have it plugged into micro USB, have the battery on in succession while you're charging the battery, which means you don't have to take off the cartridge to screw in a charger. So this one does not have a twist function on it. 
This has just a button, but you still have variable voltage and preheat. The difference is, is that you would change the voltage by clicking the buttons and we'll get that. So to turn the unit on, you click the button five times rapidly. One, two, three, four, five. So you see it blinks right there. Now it's on. If you wanted to go into preheat as we did with the other battery, same thing. Push the button two times. One, two. And you can see the LED again is going into the color change mode. You can exit that at any time to get out of preheat mode. And if you want to change the voltage, what you do is you push the button three times quickly. One, two, three. And what you'll notice is that the LED changes different color. <clears throat> now what that signifies there is that now you're on a different voltage level. <clears throat> so your power intensity has been adjusted. And this battery actually comes with three voltage settings, three different intensity levels, and you can cycle through them by just clicking the button three times. One, two, three. Now you see the LED turn blue. So blue, red, and green. So that shows your variable voltage non-twist 510 stick battery for your reference. The other battery that I've outlined is a 510 thread. A lot of people refer to this as a stylus because it has a little stylus tip that people used to use for their Palm Pilots and you could use for your cell phones and touchscreen devices. But as you will notice, this battery is a standard, it's a buttonless battery. So it doesn't have a button on it. So what you do is when you put your cartridge on there, you don't have to turn it on or anything like that. You just make sure it's charged. All you have to do is inhale. <clears throat> so it's a different action. You don't push and hold the button throughout the duration of your vape as the other two batteries we showed you. You just simply inhale and it will turn it on. A couple of things to point out with this battery. So a lot of companies do sell batteries like this. We don't because for auto draws to fire ceramic cartridges, they have to be much more powerful. And we offer auto draw models like our ELF concealers and ELF twist, but they provide a lot more power so they can fire ceramic cartridges that have thick heaters. This little battery doesn't have much power to fire some of the more modern cartridges. The other thing is that to be auto draw, it requires your cartridges to have an air hole at the bottom like this one. Let, let's see if we can zoom in to make sure people see that there's an air hole here. So this cartridge has an air hole, which means that when you inhale, it lets the air travel through the cartridge, which then reacts with a little sensor microphone in the battery that signals the battery to turn on and to vaporize. Now, if we take a look at these two cartridges, we'll notice that they don't have air holes. So you would technically not be able to use these two cartridges on this auto draw battery, stylus battery, when you would be able to vape them just fine with the twist batteries that I showed you before or the non-twist variable voltage battery that I showed you just before that. So that's just a little bit to keep in mind when you're selecting your 510 your perfect 510 thread stick battery. Now the last battery that's pretty popular is this Ego style battery. Now this is a 510 and also a stick battery and I see a lot of people carrying these with cartridges that ask. However, you'll say this is a little bit different than this because look at the, the the difference this this right here is flat and flush where you screw the cartridge in and this one kind of pokes out and you have this exposed piece that's because there's two different 510 threads so this is your standard 510 cartridge thread so it's your 510 c thread and this one is your 510 ego thread and an ego thread means that there used to be cartridges for e-liquid that would screw on to the exterior of this and make an interior connection so that you can use it with the older style e-liquid tanks as well as with pre-filled cartridges. What you'll notice is if you're really into just pre-filled cartridges is when you screw it into this ego tank, it this transition looks a little funky. It'll still work and they work good, but you'll see that 
this just doesn't look that nice. It looks like it would need like a transition piece of metal there, like a skirt or something like that. And, you know, this is a fatter battery, so as you could see, the widths don't exactly line up like other tanks like this. You'll see it's a much smoother transition. It looks like they're all one piece versus like this. Now, there's lots of Ego batteries on the market. There's ones that have twist uh, knobs. There's ones that are longer. The thing is that you can, these are about 500 milliamp hour batteries for so that's a pretty good decent capacity for a battery these ones are usually between 350 and 650 they're this size you can get longer ones are all the way up to 1200 or 1100 milliamp hours so you can get ultra high capacity powerful fat ego batteries like this but one of the trade-offs is if you do use a lot of cartridges they're not going to line up they're not going to look 100 percent with these stick batteries they line up so you can use all different types of uh, heating materials like ceramic cartridges standard uh, stainless steel or organic cotton coil cartridges you can use high performance ceramic like our performance tank you can even use wax tanks like our silencer with these little five ton thread batteries so we hope that today's video was useful in showing you guys the differences between the different 510 thread battery types and we familiarize you with some of the pros and cons are of each one. So when you are on the market trying to pick up a 510 thread stick battery, you can see some of these differences and figure out which 510 thread stick battery works perfect for you. For lots of cool products that you've seen here today, you can check out our website www.vapehoneystick.com. You can follow us on Instagram on Vape Honey Stick and official Vape Honey Stick. Make sure to like, like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more content. Make sure to use my special promo code HONEY420 if you want 20% off on your orders on our website. And make sure that whether you're vaping a 510 thread battery, no matter what type of button style or twist it is, that you're out there doing it responsibly. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Cheers.